Hi there, this is Yorick. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to safely move a validator from one machine to another. This is actually my own. I have um, an inclusion distance here that is sometimes okay and sometimes just as you can see here, atrocious. So I'm actually going to move it out of my home, away from my ISP and into the cloud. And uh, my main concern, of course, is if I have two uh, copies of this running at the same time within the same epoch and I attest twice, I'm going to slash myself. Uh, that would be bad. So let's see what we can do. Um, so I need my signing keys and the password. I believe I have those. Um, let's start with, I need to bring down my old client and I'll want it down for uh, a good 10 minutes. So in Epoch is 6.4, so I'm gonna give myself some time. So I'm gonna use my handy tomato timer here and set it to 10 minutes. And uh, here we are on the uh, local machine that this is running on. And I'm gonna go into the uh, directory it's in, which is sdomain here. Do a quick docker ps. And you can see it's all up and running. And then we're going to do a docker compose down. So that shuts all of it down. Okay. Now when this is down, um, it's going to stop testing, but there's still a risk that it will come back up, right? Say the machine reboots. Um, this is actually set to auto start because of course I, in regular production, I want this to auto start. So, what I need to do is, once this is done here, I need to do some, uh, I need to be careful that it can't come back up. So I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna find the volume and remove the volume. So, docker volume list. And you see here, that's my, um, here's everything running uh, or all the volumes I have, so Validator, Beacon, Grafana, Geth, etc. All of this will be blown away and I don't need this anymore. So I could just do a docker volume remove and then copy paste uh, this name here, F2 Validator Data, but I'm actually going to go a little bit more extreme. Docker volume lsq grab F2 main this one right here, this is all gonna go. And docker volume ls. Okay, that looks good. I could say I'm done, but I'm actually gonna do a docker compose run validator just to make sure that indeed it's gone. So it's restarting everything here. And it's recreating these volumes, as you can see. And it is telling me that it has no validators here, see? Loading validator keeper store, voting validators zero. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down again. remove these again. And I'm going to call that good enough, right? Importing keys into the new client. So now that it's down, I'm going to SCP the keys over and then import them. Okay, so I need the um, the keys. I will copy those over. I've preferred that pre uh, prepared that previously. I have them here on a USB drive. Um, that's usually not in my machine and that's uh, BitLocker encrypted. I'm going to copy that to my cloud server into S2 Lighthouse S2 or dot S2 validator underscore keys. And this is just the SCP that comes with Windows 10. So 
So this is all obviously set up beforehand with uh, key authentication. And that's copied. Okay, so here I am in S2 Cloud. I'm going to go over to S2 Lighthouse. Um, this is actually currently running. There it is. So I'm going to shut this down because I can't import while it's running. And then I'm going to import these keys. They do all have the same password. So in this particular case, um, the password is in my uh, KeyPass vault, also on an encrypted disk or encrypted flash. Password is correct, successfully imported on validators. Okay, so very important, right? At this point, I might say, oh, great, I'm done. Docker Compose up. Don't do that, right? Where's my little uh, thing here? I'm not quite at probably at six minutes over. I might get lucky, but don't do that. Um, you can, uh, uh, you could move the slashing protection database over, which would make this a lot less um, worrisome. But since I didn't do that um, and just move the key, I really need to make sure I wait my 10 minutes, right? Um, Verify once more that all your validators have been down long enough to miss an attestation. Okay, let's take a look at my beacon chain. Did I miss an attestation? Looks like I did. That's actually what I want here. Right, this is good. That's excellent. So uh, I did miss something. That means it's been long enough, even if it hasn't been 10 minutes. This means I cannot attest twice during the same epoch. Um, verify once more that trying to start the validator on the old client has it complaining it cannot find keys. This is a, um, you know what, why not? This is a, uh, belt and suspender thing here, right? I need to make sure I'm down. So that's just geth running, run the validator. And there we are. Um, Initialize validators enabled zero no enabled validators. That's exactly what I want. So I might say, you know, aren't you being overly paranoid here? You already verified this twice. Why are you verifying a third time? Well, because people make mistakes and you might get lazy and confident if you do this more than once. And yeah, if you make this mistake, you get yourself slashed. So that's not what we want. Okay, I'm an F2 cloud. Uh, I've imported my keys and um, yeah, start the new client. And there's my my tomato timer. And take a quick look at the uh, logs. This should be fine now. have here initialized validators enabled one disabled zero enabled validator with a voting pub key so that's looking good and uh, all validators are active perfect all right thank you for uh, watching I hope it was useful if you do have to do this man take your time okay have a good one